What is going on guys? It is Dan here and we are back with, um, well, From the Depths. It's been quite some time since we've done it and um, yeah, we're, we're going to start a, um, a regular naval campaign. Uh, I haven't done this in perhaps forever so I'm a bit rusty when it comes to building ships. In fact, a good portion of the time that I've spent uh, in between videos I've spent just trying to work on ship designs because I remembered next to nothing on how to build them properly. So uh, the first design I'm actually going to load up for this campaign is, uh, well, it, it's not very good. Uh, it should get us past some of the early Deepwater Guard ship designs until we can build something a little bit better, but until then it'll have to do. So. Let's go ahead and get started by uh, customizing our starter fortress. So, well, that's that's new. This used to be uh, an advanced cannon. Hmm. Okay. One of the first things I like doing is increasing our resource harvesting output. Um, mostly because we don't have a lot of resource coming in as as it is right now. So the more we can bring in, the faster we can bring it in, the better. Because our first ship is about 30,000 resource. So, oh, well that's up here, cool. Um, I'm afraid this little missile boat is not going to be enough to stand up against the uh, Deepwater Guard for very long. In fact, their first fighting force is probably going to be a formidable one to, you know, start with. Because I kind of set that as a higher uh, value to begin with. So, what we're going to do actually for this little bow is um, we're going to give it AI. Because I think that's probably a pretty good idea. Um, Controller, receiver. Well, actually, we could probably just stick the AI right in the back. Because luckily, this thing isn't really going to need a whole lot in the way of components for it, which is nice. So, we can just stick naval AI and um, target prioritization. Where does A point selection do? Ooh. Target the primary system, like the the primary target, like. Oh. I'm gonna do aim point selection. All right, so this little thing should now uh, shoot at enemy ships, which is nice. I mean, I don't anticipate it doing well. Um, how are we doing in here? Dangerous gas percentage. Is that going up or is it just sort of sitting there? Looks like it's just sitting there. All right, we are at 5,900 resource. Let's go ahead and uh, speed this up. All right. So deep water guard basically all around us. If I remember correctly, their um, main fortress is like back in here. I've never actually completed this campaign, so we're gonna we're gonna try to shoot for that thousand resource. Alright, I'm gonna be back as soon as um, we have enough resource or if we get attacked. It has begun. The construction of the SUS Barracuda. The SUS Barracuda. Um, so the acronym for our uh, fleet is the... I don't even remember what it was, so it's now just SUS. Um, so the Barracuda is the first ship that I've constructed for this campaign. Um, again, it's not exactly the best thing ever. Uh, again, I'm going to have to kind of fiddle around with ship designs more in the future. Maybe kind of take, uh, just capture some other ships and use them as, uh, 
templates to build new designs. So uh, the Barracuda is a reasonably large ship. I wanted to go smaller on the first one, but the first design, the first iteration of the Barracuda um, had an issue with uh, tipping over when it went to turn. And I tried adjusting it by weighing it down on the bottom, but this would just cause it to sink. Uh, so it wasn't exactly the best first design. So I went with a very wide, very long, and very uh, deep ship. Um, so this is probably going to take a while to build. So I'll be back when it's done. And she's almost done. Um, the second obelisk turret is already almost put together. So yeah, I did kind of steal the uh, obelisk turret design from the land campaign, only because it's an incredibly reliable turret. Um, in fact, maybe in another iteration of the Barracuda, uh, I might use omen turrets in place. But these are very versatile, they turn very quickly, they're pretty accurate, they've got decently sized guns. Um, so overall, I'm pretty pretty proud of them. Uh, very nice shell velocity too. These are armor piercing rounds so that these things are gonna, you know, kinda do their job very quickly. So we're gonna have to go ahead and hop on board it. It's not a fast ship in the slightest. Uh, this thing doesn't go anywhere very quickly and it surely doesn't get there. Well, it doesn't get away very quickly either. Um, I think its max speed is about 10 meters a second. So I think the fastest ship design I've ever done was probably closer to 20. So these things aren't, they aren't very fast. Um, they're also pretty expensive, 34,000, almost 35,000 resource to build them. But they've got decent hull armor, um, two pretty powerful turrets, and just they're, they're pretty big, um, which is nice. So we're gonna go ahead and um, do we have ammunition stocked up in these? Yeah. Hmm. Let's uh, let's declare war. I think I think that's pretty good. Um, relationships. Declare war. There we go. So now they're gonna start coming this way. So we are going to take our. Um, our first boat, and um, how, do you, how, do, how do you do this again? Uh, right now we're going to select this, and then we're going to merge that boat in. So our first fleet is now Boat Sweet Boat, <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, Don't, don't ram the fortress. Or just pull the fortress out. Uh, so we might as well start getting prepared for uh, our first invasion. Um, do we want to try to drag out one of their fleets? I think we could. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. We are going to go on the offensive. I think this is the first time I've ever been offensive in uh, the first maybe 20 minutes of the uh, water campaign. I don't think I've ever really gone out and tried attacking things before. Well, I mean... I have, I, I would have had to have to in order to get to where I'm at right now and whatnot. Alright. They can't possibly have that large of a fleet here already, can they? Alright, let's see what it is. Corsair. That's a pretty big thing. Then again, I'm, I'm used to the uh, land campaign, that's actually pretty small, like the Barracuda is much bigger than that. Um, so, 
we are going to hop on board here. I think we already are, though. Um, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get this started. What are we shooting at? Okay, so that's the Corsair. Oh! Um... Oh... Okay, well, the Corsair is, did not last very long. Uh, I kind of want to capture it, though. I think it's too late. I think the Corsair is just, I think, still alive. That's, that's kind of cool. So yeah, this is, this is the beautiful, beautiful, uh, oh, we probably should put all our ships on combat. I think that's probably a pretty decent idea. So yeah, the Barracuda is not a very pretty ship either. I, I try my best to do some kind of aesthetic design, but it, it didn't work. It's not very good. All right, so we got our first uh, bunch of resource. Cool. Um, yeah, let's just let's just keep going on the offensive. Let's let's keep you know striking the enemy because they can't really have large fleets here yet. And then we can collect enough resource to build another Barracuda. And then we can kind of really go on the offensive. I think the major early game ship that I'm going to be worried about is the Marauder, just because that really big cannon. But if you can get the flank of it, it's, I don't think it's that dangerous. I really do need faster ships, though. Hello. And they won home. I come to spread communism. Oh, is that a flyer? A drake and a shuriken. I remember what a drake dr drank. Uh, a drake is. I do not remember what a shuriken is. A drake is like a. Ooh. Um. Oh, they're in the water. Well, that's not very fair. But yeah, we've got a lot of missiles. A lot of missiles. So we've got high velocity shells, just all the missiles. Our boat is waggling. Oh no! Boat sweet boat. We will avenge your death. Mostly because I don't think these two ships are going to be able to take down uh, the Vanguard. Not the Vanguard. Um, the Barracuda. Especially considering we've already killed one of them. Uh, what's still alive? Oh, that's the Shuriken. This is like some kind of hovercraft. A really s oh, slow hovercraft. Um, yeah, the missiles, the missiles are pretty good. I'm gonna say that is a definite. Good, good work, Barracuda, good work. You do have a bit of an issue with uh, your hull getting knocked out. And whenever the hull gets knocked out, then the whole thing kind of submerges a little. But, eh, I think you're pretty good with it. I think you're pretty good. We'll need to up-armor the hull. Is that our home base? I think that's our home base. Okay. Collect the resource. Um really want to... Okay, we're going to split you from the Barracuda, and we're going to send you back. Alright, let's 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 attack this tile, see what there is. How much resource do we have here? Alright, we're nowhere near being able to build another 
Barracuda, yeah. But I think if they do a very strong offensive, we beat them, we might be able to get enough resource to... Oh, this is a fast one. Oh, okay, Drake and a Duster. Alright, I don't think that's too bad. Like, even if they get overhead, it's not bad. Alright, the issue with the missiles though is they're not very long range. I think that's the major issue with them though. But they're very small missiles. I think they're like three or four parts. The nice thing though is they're really maneuverable and the Drake is already going down. Nice. Oh. We lost a turret. What happened here? Alright, we'll have to take a look at that for the future. Up armor the, the front, because it looks like it something penetrated through right here. And now they're going back after the uh, Drake. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize. Uh, if you watched uh, my last video, you'll probably understand already. But I am still kind of really sick, and that's part of the reason why I haven't really been posting anything recently. Is I've just been kind of sick on and off for the past month, and uh, my voice has just been iffy. 90% of the time, and I, I don't like recording if I don't sound at least somewhat decent, or uh, if you people can actually understand me. Huh. Alright. Probably head back to, to home base. And I think that's, that's probably going to be a pretty good start to uh, our campaign. We cleared up these three tiles. Uh, pretty pretty easy fights. A good portion of them were flyers, and I'm honestly surprised um, Barracuda did so well against them. And you know what? We're going to bring you back to uh, the base as well, and we're going we're gonna to get you repaired. There we go. You're going to be our little station defender. Hopefully by the uh, next episode we'll have enough resource to build another Barracuda, or perhaps some smaller craft to uh, support the Barracuda. Um, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and again, my uh, deepest apologies t uh, towards you guys about not being on top of my recording. And, uh... Alright, so we declared war on them a while ago, but they're just now realizing uh, <laughs> we declared war on them. Alright, well, again, thank you for watching. If you like this, uh, you know, like, uh, comment, share this video with your friends. Uh, I'd like for this series to at least do half as well as uh, the land campaign we did a while ago. So, um, that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.